Rare experience for a pair of kayakers off the coast of Half Moon Bay. They came within just a few feet of a great white shark. One of the kayakers right. captured this video on their cell phone. You saw the dorsal fin there okay. popping out of the water. Okay. Disconcerting to say the least. Kronk Forest Rob Nesbitt spoke to the kayakers about that sighting. When Ian Walters posted his shark sighting video on Instagram, the comments suggested it was a great white shark. Experts have confirmed that's exactly what popped up during his fishing trip. There he is. Less than a mile offshore from Half Moon Bay, and this is what Ian Walters came across during a fishing trip Tuesday. You can see the dorsal fin and tail of a great white shark pop up behind his friend's kayak. A bit of nerves at first, while they observed the shark, and the shark observed his new friends. Followed him for a couple minutes, and then I moved my kayak in to kind of seem bigger as two kayaks, and then it we watched it circle around and then follow my kayak um, for a few minutes after that, and we kind of led it towards some seals, and it eventually just kind of calmly went out of sight. I reached out to the California White Shark Project and its president, Dr. Paul Canivy, confirmed that the shark appears to be an adult great white and about 14 feet long. And the shape of the fin, it's much, it's got that classic triangular shape. Um, I mean, for me, I would put my money on a white shark. It he says the kayakers did the right thing by fishing together, staying calm, and slowly leaving the area towards shore. Dr. Canivy says great whites are extremely curious, and this one seems to be doing some investigating. When on the hunt, great whites are more known for ambushing their prey. If it gets too close, uh, you can hit it on the nose. Sharks don't like to be hit. It does, they don't, you don't have to hit them hard. They're uh, risk averse, like I said, and um, a, sim a, a simple poke on the nose will kind of make the shark think twice about continuing, continuing the investigation. As for the kayakers, they consider themselves lucky to have shared such a rare experience and to make it home with video evidence. I can't believe that we're the ones that get this lucky right now because that's, you know, the, the apex of the apex predators that we have in the Bay Area. And, you know, never in a million years did I think that I would get to, you know, spend a spend five minutes on Earth, like, you know, next to one of them. Dr. Canivy says sightings like this are very possible right now. Mid-August is the time of year when great whites are coming closer to the coastline from their migration out to open ocean. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News. Wow.